Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, welcome back to Pokey World. When we last left off, well, honestly our colony was, well it still is kind of in a uh, tough spot, but hopefully if we can rescue this uh, incapacitated refugee, get a third person to help share the burden of getting stuff done, that'll make life a little easier. Also I just made a small tweak so that Red would focus on... Uh, training after you know getting other important priorities like uh, you know cooking and cleaning and all that good stuff out of the way and honestly it resulted in you know stuff kind of working out also as you can see we've once more fast forwarded ahead a little bit how are we doing anyway uh, with you on plant stuff you're up to level four so the odds of you failing has gone down somewhat. Or so I hope. Alright, we have arrived. Actually, what? What even was the fret here? Ah, oh, there may be an unknown fret. Alright. Well. Hold on to your butts, everyone. Uh wait, you generate power? Really? Let's see, Elect Kid. It's not good at storing electricity yet. This Pokemon sneaks into people's homes looking for electrical outlets to eat electricity from. When a storm approaches, this Pokemon gets restless. Once Elect Kid hears the sound of thunder, it gets full on rowdy. Interesting. And didn't even notice that it apparently generated power. But then again, I guess that makes sense, as presumably I would have only seen that. Uh, well, we wouldn't have had a. <clears throat> a problem with power, come to think of it, because... You know, might as well patch you up right here. Or wait, do we want to recruit you, Squirt? Are you actually... Okay, you are at least wearing pants. Poor kid. You're an artist, a socializer. You do like animals a bit, so I could actually get you to start training as well. And you got a little bit of passion for the plants. You're a wimp. You're neurotic. And you're a teetotaler. Eh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, what kind of Pokemon are we looking at? Scorupi. Well, you look different. So you know I'm gonna fight you. It attacks using the claws on its tail. Once locked in its grip, its prey is unable to move as this Pokemon's poison seeps in. After burrowing into the sand, it waits patiently for prey to come near. This Pokemon and Sizzlipede share common descent. Sizzlipede. Was that like a flaming centipede? Or possibly a millipede? That scares the hell out of me. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, let's see. Yes. Catch it to learn more. That's actually kind of nifty that apparently... Ah, what the heck, we'll... Or no, we don't want to arrest you. I will offer help. There you go, friendo. Now let's uh, go ahead and tend to you. And we'll try and catch ourselves this... Uh, might as well take this uh, Pineco while we're at it as well. You know, all the usual stuff. Loop, 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 do. Guess I should have brought old Dr. Lucas. You know, I kind of like his story arc now that I think about it. He was, a, you know, an Imperial sniper. He defected from decadence. And now he's dedicating his life to the pursuit of medicine. If I end up killing some of these things, I should make a butcher bench and then maybe try and craft some sleeping bags. Alrighty then. Pokemon, attack! You're level 10, that's a decent level. Ooh, which one are we attacking? Might as well fire at it from afar. If we can hit it, which would be really nice. 
cannot hit the side of a barn. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got a runner. Let's, uh... Wait for it. Alright, now it's probably, uh... Don't die on me. There we go, baby. Ha <laughs> ha! We'll go ahead and load this Pokeball. We'll head into it later. Alright. Scorio P uh, has been acquired. And let's go get a Pineco. You guys don't evolve into anything, do you? Nope, you do not. Or wait. Yes, you do. Do you always? Pineco came in uh, Generation 2, as I recall. But I don't remember if it evolved then. Alright, let's uh, let Mankey punch this guy a little bit. Get those sweet punches in there. A little more, okay. Alright, Mankey, you've done your job. Punching that living pine cone. Which bit you, that's... Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and pick up the Ultra Ball. We've got only two left. Are there any ever, uh... Oh, there's a Rhydon and a Sunkern. Well, I mean, I've, I'm pretty sure we've seen at least the Sunkerns around here. Alright, let's go for it. Now, I know you evolve into something. Where's the Rhydon? Oh, I'm coming for you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No. No, I don't. I don't want to come after you because I want to catch Rhyhorn first. That was always an obsession when I was playing Pokemon back in the day. I would never... If I found the evolved form of Song in the Wild, I would never catch it. Always had to get the, uh, the less evolved form first. Silly, perhaps. But, you know, it's just how I... Just how I like to play the game. Oh, that, uh, that could have gone better. Uh, Clefairy, go ahead and punch this Sunkern one or two times for me, would you? Try not to kill it. I'm gonna risk one more. And you killed it. Alright, well, let's have done all the damage we're gonna do. Oh, wait. Now nah, we can catch those things back home. Alright, let's get out of here, everybody. So I bring the dead sun kerns back. I guess I will. We'll probably end up eating them. Or feeding them to our Pokemon. Tuna? Is that what I call this place? Or is it? No, I don't remember calling it that. Or maybe, you know what? I'm an idiot. I'll have to go back and watch the footage. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. I meant to name it something else, but then I just had it saying random. Frankly, that sounds pretty on brand. So I'm gonna assume until I, uh, you know, look over the tapes that that is exactly what happened. Yeah. Yeah, let's uh, get all this stuff chopped up while we're at it, and just uh, just to start getting the walls in place. I'm more interested in delivering material to the walls rather than you know building them right now. But uh, you know, got to get those materials put in. Makes life that much easier. But Lucas isn't a builder, so I'm not going to have him do it himself. Let's get the pieces in place. Hold on there, Lucas. Really good. Alright. And we're home. Oh good, Seal is rescuing Squirt. Poor Squirt. Oh, Red, get get back up, you silly man. There we go, look at that. Beds for everybody. 
No, 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 Lucas. What have I told you? You, you don't build yourself. You just uh, get the materials delivered. I should probably let you eat some dinner and get to bed. Poor guy. Anyway, how are we doing on research? Oh yeah, I made a Pokemon storage system while we were kind of fast forwarding off camera. Where is that? I want to start building stuff like that? Maybe not. Alright, let's see here. Grants access to an ancient architect cyber, uh, cyberspace network running on this planet. Used to store Pokemon. Pokemon put in this computer are digitized across hundreds of data centers, meaning that if this console is destroyed, you can still access them after building a new one. We'll uh, just plunk that in the corner here. Certainly, with uh, your the Archic Way Neo Beastism, what is this? Bia Roabri created the Wismer, the Rhyperior. And the human on the dim volcano world, Nucatus, and raised them as siblings. Looking upon mankind, Biorabre, ba Biorobre, I'm butcher- You know what? No, screw it. It's a made-up name. I can pronounce it however I want. Biorobre found them as children and declared her dominion over them. Unless it's not a made-up name and it's actually the name of, you know, some- Any Anyway, you know what? We're getting in weeds there. I uh, found them as children and declared her dominion over them. Across the vast stellar distances, Baia Roabre's will sustained the life of mankind against the void. Cool, cool. You have a strong connection to animals. Extra taming chance, so that doesn't really, uh, affect us. Higher bond chance. Interesting, interesting. Uh, a lot of weapons. And you venerate Wismer and... Oh, wait. You created the Wismer and the Rhyperior, huh? What the heck is a Rhyperior? Alright. So, Wismer and Rhyperior, huh? That's actually kind of cool. Any ever uh, venerated Pokemon? Clove... <laughs> wait, are you the cannibals? No, you're just raiders. We didn't have cannibals. But, uh, that's kind of funny in a way. Pirates venerating a Clefable. You guys, uh, venerate the Golbat. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is a. You know, we've. Followers of God, Empire of God. There's an actual group that. Apparently, no. No group, as far as I can see here. Yeah, no group actually follows these guys, or follows this real- the one Christian religion in this actual game. And nobody follows it. Not even the people who claim to be the followers of God. What a world. What a world. Anyway, that's uh, my laugh at just, you know, random generation for today. Kind of weird that a bunch of Christians venerate a Golbat, though. At least, it's weird to me. You know, because, you know, it's a bat, and bats are probably associated with Satan or something. Everything's associated with Satan if you squint your eyes hard enough. Okay, so literally everything you do is high priority. Got it. Alright. Basically, I could have handled that better. But, you know, life it goes on. All right, there we go. Finally, we have some material to make clothes. I mean, we can and will make stuff out of the hide of Pokemon, but, uh, you know. We try not to kill them. They are supposed to be our friends. And that's what I'm gonna do. Incidentally, how are we getting on the old, uh, there's a Magmar. Man, just everything shows up on this, uh... But, we don't need to catch Magmar, because we have a Mag B. Oh wait, I- Oh, and a Wizmer's shown up. You know, you wait long enough and all the Pokémon come to you. 
But then again, I guess that makes a certain amount of sense because we are playing in like the easiest, most vanilla biome of all time, which is of course your standard grasslands or tempered forest, whatever. Same difference. Anyway, I think I'm going to fast forward until we get to, uh, I, I do want to, because what, it's been like almost 10 episodes now and, or no, this is only episode 11, isn't it? But it, it's been five episodes, I think, maybe longer since we got access to this and yeah, I want to at least get there by the end of the episode, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I will see you shortly, like... Alright, so here we are. We have returned. Got Squirt and Lucas doing their thing. Red has just arrived at the outpost. Uh, are there... Oh my god. Yep. Maybe it's just me, but it feels like every time... <laughs> I mean, what is it with these M Imperial types and their insistence on... On using, uh... These gibbet cages. Who are they trying to fool? Alright, I'm actually kind of... Oh god, are you coming for me? Okay, our best bet is to sneak around here. I, I want to make sure we're in range before... Wow, ah, you're, you're off in a hurry. Theodora Pronusma. Yeah, I want to be within attacking range before... Uh, she knows we're here. Finley, any Pokemon? Just some low tads. Nothing too exciting. Okay. Careful. He does it, friends. Sneak around the side. God, Tentacool. Your life is just beginning. Alright, Zerg Rush. Tentacool, get out of there. It's a trap. Yeah, get wrecked, Sunny Jib. Fool, you foolish fool, you don't know the power. Oh, you're too, too close. All right, everyone, get in on it. All right, Trap Inch, if you can get it in there in time, feel free to join the brawl. Also, might as well, uh... All right, so far, so good. All right, you can uh, get in an attack if you'd like. You're too close. But yeah, it looks like there's room for everyone to get in on the action here. And she's dead. That'll teach... That'll teach him... Something. Alright, let's have, uh... Have Red become a psychic cool guy. And we'll uh, go check out these other rooms just to see what's going on. Okay, that uh, that seemed to work out pretty well. We've gained a Psylink. Oh, right. I'm not using the mod that lets you pick your uh, Psylinks. Oh, well, Chunk Skip and... Ooh, look at that psychedelic floor. You know, I'm going to rip that up so we can bring it home with us. I mean, not the actual pattern, of course, but... Uh, I want the carpet. Oh, cool. Also, there's some guy called Chris we could be guarding. Right. Oh no, Scorope. Also, Red, is there a reason why you're not tending to our various Pokemon? Who have fought so hard to defend our honor? There you go. That's a good lad. Do I want to take these ship landing beacons with us? The answer is usually yes, so I will. 
And I think I'll just deconstruct this. Hosting a friend. Let's see. Favor. Want to hang out with us for a couple of days? Huh. Three ciphers. Kind of scary. Rada good? Yeah. Kind of there. But to be honest, I'm, I'm sort of just interested in... Oh wait, is Mankey bleeding to death over there? No. I think everyone's okay. Oh no. Trico still needs to be tended to. Alright, you know what? Uh, if you don't mind, let's go ahead and just remove all of this floor. Because again, uh, it's a lot of a lot of uh, free or at least cheap uh, carpeting uh, cloth material stuff. It's always good to have on hand. Alright. Now we could go to the effort. You know what? I might actually try to take these guys out at some point. Not right now. That would be silly, but we could totally do it. The. I mean, I don't really want to take all of this stuff with me just because it, it feels like it would be an awful hassle. I will take the landing beacons. Just in case. It may come in handy, it may not. I don't know if I want to guard Chris. We could, but I don't know if I want to. Just like I don't know if I want to host someone who's just going to be eating up all our food and not really contributing anything back. I mean, if they would at least clean. And just, just some basic stuff to help out around the colony. That would be all well and good. But they're not willing to do that, so, you know, screw them. Or something. Someday these houses are going to be built. And it's going to be great. Also, while we're at it, as well build another one. Just so that we have, uh, you know, more how Might as well prepare in advance to have more than what we actually need. The other thing, of course, about building stuff in this way is that we kind of, this creates some natural walls right here as well. Though we'll want to thicken things on the outside. And if we really want to be smart about things, we should kind of try to build some buildings in a, uh, you know, a medieval uh, kind of like city sort of thing where it's like just a maze of... Uh... I talk about this often. I never think I... I fully follow uh, through with it, but you know, like if we did something like this, so that like anyone raiding they have to come in here, and then they like, go down here, and then here, and then here, and then like, oh shoot, how many of them are there? Just two, which really goes to show you just how valuable all those Pokemon we have are. Which means if I put them away in storage, uh, you know, we'd probably end up doing pretty well for ourselves. I'm kind of scared about. Uh, Skorupi and... Oh my god, you've been mangled. But yeah, I'm kind of concerned about what's going on. You now if just... Oh my god. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's wrap things up here before they get any crazier. So until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Uh, bets on when this explodes and sets my entire house on fire. And I will see all you in the next video.